<laughs> Hi, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Legal Chats with Major Matani. My name is Bomkazi, aka Major Matani. Thank you so much to all 800 of you. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. The channel is growing because Major Matani is showing a bit of consistency. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, welcome to the new members. Welcome to all the new people that have just recently joined the family, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. Do keep on telling your friends, your family, everybody else that this made of 10 in the block. And on Wednesdays, we've got work Wednesdays where we do discuss legal stuff because on other days I do vlogs and I do other topics. But on Wednesdays, they specifically for work and we are discussing legal stuff and legal related matters. So you guys can send me questions down below of what you would like me to answer in the next video and I will do that. But they have to be legal questions and work Wednesdays is dedicated to me just answering those videos anyways on today's video i wanted to talk about the importance of um, having a will especially if you are born of parents that were not married if you are if you are let's say a lady and your parents were never married and um, they're not a part of your life and you don't have kids i want to talk about the implications of that on you and your assets should you not be alive anymore well i recently had a matter where um this lady passed on she did not have kids therefore the people that had to inherit were her family right her mom and her dad had split when she was very young her father was not part of her upbringing he did not contribute financially in fact he just abandoned them but get this the law requires that your parents inherit equally in your estate if you die interstate that means if you die you don't have a will so today i just wanted to like yo bring that fact to the people you need to have a will especially if you do not have kids and you don't want a parent that was not a part of your life that never really contributed to your bringing or just overall you know <clears throat> maintenance financially emotionally in any other way because when you die they will inherit and if they are no longer there their children will inherit so imagine if those children are not exactly your siblings they are si they're not like your they are half sisters they're not uh, born um from the same mother as you and maybe he took care of those kids and he didn't take care of you i keep using referencing a he because men are the white people that mostly abandon their children not really support not to say that women don't sometimes do that but i'm just thinking i know personally i wouldn't want somebody that didn't contribute to my bringing or my schooling or whatever to contribute to like benefit from my estate so guys it's very important that if you are a single person you don't have children uh you don't have a life partner or you don't have a partner and your parents are the ones that would um inherit from your estate have a will write down who you would want to have benefit from the things that you worked so hard for that is just a little fun fact that i figured let me just bring to you guys for today's video and again we are just warming up this is me just trying out this segment where we have work wednesdays and we're discussing legal stuff um i think that's like a really important um fact that a lot of people need to know uh it's come across quite often where now i'm dealing with people like this person did not have a child this person did not have anybody but their family uh, uh or maybe the father has passed now the masters requires the father's death certificate as well as his next of kin meaning that if your mother is still alive your mother is not going to get everything the mother would get the 50 percent share because he the mother is like the <clears throat> the mother is entitled to like 50 percent and then the father's share would not revert back to the mom the father's share goes to his uh, children so if he's also deceased and he had children then um, his share would then devolve upon his children I think that is something that we all like really need to know and take note of especially if you do not have children and especially if like your parents or one of your parents was not really there for you growing up that's something that I feel like you would want to know so yeah that was it for today i'm not going to make this video very long because that's just one fact that i wanted to bring to you guys about the importance of having a will if you are if you don't have children if you don't have um a spouse or you're not married and you survived by your parents particularly if your parents were not really 
there for you growing up you would want to have a wheel so make sure that you get yourself a wheel you can there's wheels work where you can have a wheel drafted for free you can go to the bank and have a wheel drafted for free you can go to an attorney and have a wheel drafted for free but it's very important that you discuss or that you actually plan out what would happen in the unfortunate event that something happens to you and now you know someone was still with your estate you wouldn't want somebody that didn't contribute to, to like benefit from your hard work okay that's it for today don't forget to continue subscribing continue liking comment down um, in the comment section what kind of legal questions would you guys like me to cover this is the only platform where i am willing to kind of discuss legal things because you guys get to view them and you grow the channel so that's why i would do it but nonetheless but other than that honestly Mm, we don't really like giving advice for free as attorneys, but for you guys, my service, my fam, my people, I will do it for you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.